Seen the song first? What song? The song, the welcome back song. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Is that the one? And they and they all left now. They're all gone. No but one you, stood. You told you Aver told me average, to sing average it. watch time twenty seconds. You told me to sing it. <laughs> if I told you to jump off a bridge, would you do it? Depends. Is Wrong it, person asked. You're is, right. Wrong person asked. Is it like a base jumping bridge? <laughs> Am I tied in? Uh, what's up? You would you would base jump? Oh yeah. I know it's not for the melanin folk, but you know sometimes it's coming gotta... from a dude who this is from a dude who, who jumped off of a cliff in Hawaii. So exactly, not really, you got really same us there. Sometimes you got to let that inner white show out. Inner Max, if, oh, Inner Max, uh, Editor Max, if you can find the video posted here. Oh, you have a video of you jumping? Yeah. You never showed me. I sure did. Oh, I just hate you that much that I forgot about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of your hate for me, uh, let's talk about your hate for the podcast. My hate for the podcast? Yeah, I don't know. I was trying to segue into the intro. Welcome back to Near Mint News. Brought to you by who, Chris? The Near Mint Network. Near. Featuring who, Chris? Near and Mint. Who's Mint? Mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, featuring myself, Max, and, uh, and the big homie, Chris. Um, I used to say my partner one time, and then Chris let somebody at work in his head, so I don't call him my partner anymore. Um, so the big homie, Chris. Um, uh, we're back today with another edition of the world's most, uh, uh, beloved, world's most appreciated, anticipated, often replicated, but never re reciprocated. This guy's failing bars. I be playing Baldur's Gate plus two half plated. No, nah, nothing. You got more? That was a 16, but it was like a four. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a 16, but it was like a four. Okay. It was like a four. It was like a four. Uh, yeah, we back. Good to know. We back. Uh, in case you guys had been wondering where we've been. Um, I have, we have uploaded a couple of videos. Uh, last week, I believe we uploaded four videos, if I'm not mistaken. Chris, am I right about that? Don't worry about it. I'm going to check right now. Um, yes, he is. Um, appreciate everyone who has been subscribing, 604 subscribers and climbing. Um, hold on, good loading up YouTube Studio. Uh, yes, last week we uploaded, um, well, technically uploaded our two Twitch VODs since we streamed twice last week. Um, I dropped a Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, uh, main list video. As well as a multiverse gameplay video. Um, we're gonna get into Dragon Ball in a little bit. Uh, after I'm done intro introing the podcast, um, we're back. We're back. Uh, happy Halloween month, everyone. Uh, let us know your favorite Halloween movies in the comments. I'm currently writing a script or two titled Movies You Should Watch. On Halloween, there's going to be a family version and a more horror version, if you catch my drift. Mm. So the family version might feature movies like Coraline. Focus, while the focus. Hard... I'm not going to give more than one. It's going it's to If I do that, it's going to ruin the whole video. What's the point of even recording it at that point? If I do the the super horror one... Movies uh -huh. might movies like uh Goni Jam might be featured on there. So if you that's guys right. are interested in that, it'll be out. Uh that's not gonna be on my list, so you can say that one. <laughs> um was Hocus Pocus on the list, that's why you got, came from my deck. Uh no comment. Um Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in that, it'll be out hopefully next week. Have that uh ready and available for you guys. But now that I'm done flapping my gums, Gapping. right? Uh, before we even get into the pod, I wanted to give uh, rest in peace to uh, Ken Page, 
recipes to John Amos. Um, we lost a lot of legends these last couple of months. Uh, we also lost James Earl Jones. Yes. Um, who was a voice of our childhood. Uh, prayers to their friends, their families, and their fans. Um, now we can get into the podcast, Chris. Anything you want to say before we start, start, start? Um... Thank you guys for watching. Coming back, even though we be on hiatus sometimes. Thank you. Appreciate it. We appreciate it. And if you guys want to watch us struggle as uh as as repayment for disappearing, go to YouTube, uh search up Renamark. Watch his video featuring us. We played Lunch Lady and got absolutely demolished. So Not me. go enjoy that. Oh, brother. Not me. Chris will get exposed in that video. Tactical Chris, all right? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, and yeah, let's get into it, Chris. We didn't really say where we're going to start today. So um, I believe we're going to start with... Um, we got the announcement that The Simpsons has ended. Yes. Crazy. Um, Crazy. After 35 years, which is two years longer than, that, than I've been alive. Um, historic run. Um. I societal standards. that The, the Simpsons has two kids... A wife, yep. A Fortune five hundred, a Fortune five hundred <laughs> company. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Voted um, in all the major elections. That's Crazy. hilarious. That's hilarious. Uh, how many seasons of The Simpsons? Let's find out. Fifteen. So after no. thirty six seasons, thirty six um, from I December seventeenth, nineteen eighty nine, to October sixth, twenty twenty four, there has been thirty six seasons. The show has officially come to an end. Um, fun fact: uh, I used to work with someone whose aunt was one of the original creators of The Simpsons. Fun fact for everyone out there. Uh, and also the Rugrats, and a lot of the early. Nickelodeon shows. Really? Yeah. Uh yeah, it's pretty cool. Shout out to my dog uh to my dog Benny. Um cool dude. Or also shout out to my dog Ben G. He is an asshole. Yes, he is. He's an asshole. He likes to um people. but yeah, crazy. Uh I wish I wish I was more of a Simpsons fan. I watched a lot of it. Not a lot, I watched a lot when I was younger. Um but, you know, never like was like a Simpsons fan, Simpsons fan. You feel me? Um, when I would, I love the game Hit and Run. That was For sure, my they shit. need a remake, ASAP. That was my shit. Um, Hit and Run was crazy. Great game, great game, great game. Um, there was also wasn't there a? Were you a Chuck E. Cheese kid, Chris? You lived right next to it, so. I don't I've, know if you ever I've been. But like did you go to the specific one by your house when you were no. younger? I went okay. there once, maybe twice. They used to have a Simpsons arcade game there. And it was fire, and I can't remember what the fuck it was. Road Rage? Probably? I know, I remember I remember I remember uh Turtles in Time. There was a Sonic uh a Sonic fighting game and the Simpsons game. I can't remember what the Simpsons game was, and it was fire. Road Rage? No, it wasn't Road Rage. I would have said Road Rage if it was freaking Road Rage. God dang it. Sorry, I don't mean to get this angry in the beginning of the podcast. We just started, Chris. We just started. Nah, we've been going for a long time. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't remember what it was called. Um, Watch it have been Road Rage. The Simpsons uh, Legendary Run. Um, making way for the new, uh, the new animated shows, 
that will not eclipse it anytime soon. Um, there's a beat 'em up Simpsons. That's game. what it was. Okay, that's what it was. It was a beat 'em ups. Was it just called The Simpsons? The Simpsons, yeah. Then yeah, that was it. Yeah. Oh, maybe we can make that happen on on uh on the channel. Uh, maybe. maybe. We'll we'll work on it. We'll work on it. We, let's not let's not shit ourselves in the wieners. Um, that's not the same. It came yeah, out two thousand and seven. So I was what was it was twenty four, seventeen years ago. Sheesh. Uh, I was fifteen, right? That's math. All right. Uh. Yeah, I don't, it's not on the Switch. We'd have to get the ROMs and yeah, do it that way. Um, it pissed me off. What? Are you, what? Headphone wire driving me crazy. He just flicked that bitch behind him. Yeah, bro. That's gonna bother me even more because I'm be like, why can't I move my head? <laughs> um, my fault. My microphone wasn't facing me. Um, yeah, uh, so that's the Simpsons. Um, word, word, word. Talk about your mans. Talk about your mans. Um, uh, Mr. Uh, Booster Gold himself. Nope, that's not the right person. Uh, Adam Warlock himself. Let me talk. Oh, yeah, bro. Crazy. So, Will Porter, right? Close. Oh, right. Oh, why, why why is it not opening it up? Will Poulter. That's what I said. Oh, my, my fault, my fault. My ears. I ain't hear you. It's just opening up the picture, Mac. And it's pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens if I click it. It's opening up the picture. Um. Well, Will Poulter was asked if he would play um, Cal... How do you say his last name? Cal Kestis. Or Kestis. 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 Kyle Kestis, uh, in a live action Star Wars movie. Um, he said he would not say no to the opportunity. Um, I think we all know that there's only one person and one person only who could play that role. Yeah. And it's the person that played him already. That wasn't Cal, right? That was, uh, Shameless. Yeah. Um, dang, I feel like an asshole now. What's his name? Fuck. Um, Cameron, uh, Monaghan. That sounds right. Yep. He also played the Joker in the Batman thing. Yes, he did. Um, great actor, very talented actor. Uh, would love to see him on as the live action. Uh, I love, I love uh Will Poulter too. He was fucking uh great in um the Bear. Uh, and his and, other stuff. And we are the Millers. Solid, solid pick. Solid pick. He was hilarious, hilarious in that movie. Hilarious in that movie. Um, I don't know much of his his videography in the Wiener. I don't know much of his videography. Uh, to really dig back into. Um. But from what I've seen of him, he's a great actor. Absolutely. Oh. I'm sure there's a Star Wars part for him. I don't know if I'd want to see him as Cal, even though my opinion doesn't matter because I don't watch Star Wars. Well, this. Oh, well, I mean. it. I guess your point ends because you're not going to watch the movie that comes out. Yeah, it makes sense. makes sense. Yep. I just be yep. saying shit. But I mean, I, I'm a liar. I probably would have minded build either one of them. Yeah, right. It'd be cool. May the best man win. Word. Sorry, I keep getting um, distracted. It's okay. Um, it's hard to focus on my beauty here. I I'm, understand. That's I'm not getting distracted by you. Getting distracted. Doing too much. Yeah, yeah. Light skin Max in full effect. You know who else is doing too much, Chris? Speaking of doing too much, 
There we go. Segway Max. Let's go. Let's get it. Zachary Levi. Zachary um, Levi. What did he do now? Uh, Zachary Levi reportedly thought his Shazam role was his ticket to being the next Chris Evans. America's Chris Evans. The source says... <laughs> I would have went DC's Chris Evans. No, he's America's Chris Evans. America's Chris... Okay. That's America's Chris Evans. He's also not DC Chris Evans. Unless no, no, no. Wrong. But that that's what he was trying to be. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like... like okay, yeah. Got it. Got Zachary it. He just Levi said was... He he just said next Chris Evans though. Yeah, but he's he should have said DC's Chris Evans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think got that's you, what they were you. getting at. Got you. Um, but it didn't happen for him, and he's bitter about that. My question is uh, to you, Zachary Levi. The first Shazam was not terrible, right or wrong? No, that's All that's right. solid. Um, let's see you, what let's see what the uh. You look up the first one. I'll look up the second one. Got you. But the second one was called um shit, garbage, <laughs> absolute trash. Um Yeah, so Shazam twenty nineteen is when it released, the first one. Um mm -hmm. sorry, just getting a rotten tomatoes. Rotten tomatoes. Okay. It has great reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. Ninety percent on the tomato meter, eighty two on the popcorn meter, which is the new name for the fan score on uh Rotten Tomatoes, in case you guys didn't know. I didn't know um, that. Yeah. What was it before? Uh, we score? said it so many times, and I don't remember. We said it. We've said Chris, all I remember. Times, all I remember. How many times we record and we go to Rotten Tomatoes and read the tomato meter <laughs> and the other meter? I always remember tomato meter because I always say thermometer. Exactly that. The tomato meter was the critic one. Yeah, and then the fan one was a different name. But now it's called the popcorn meter. Um, so yeah. Zachary Levi, take this role, bodied the first one, right? The second one, the second, second one, one. Give me the second one. Gets a 49 on the tomato meter. And an 86 on the popcorn An meter. 86? 86. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. That movie was terrible. You know what? Everyone reviewing it was just reviewing it for Megan Good. Was she in the second one? She was in both of them, yes. Okay, that's why. Makes sense. Common denominator. Another person, uh uh the uh the the, the other girl, what's her name? What's her name? Not here. There it is. Grace Caroline Curry. She's in, she's another one they were uh up in the reviews for yeah um i just want to i get i get the first one goes great you get the script for the second one do you not do you not think it's gonna be doo-doo you know what i mean <sighs> look man you gotta remember there's stuff they got cut out you know release the uh uh, uh, corrected this shit. <laughs> the Shazam's, uh, the Shazam's, the Levi cut. There we go. The Sandberg. Oh boy. The Levi Sandberg cut. Yeah, yeah. Release that. Um, you know, know what? Just keep, just keep it in the vault. Keep it in. The <laughs> keep, vault? It, keep it in the vault. Keep it in That's the vault. That's crazy. I'll be all right. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. <clears throat> and things aren't looking too good for DC. Even with that, uh, even outside of uh, Shazam and Zachary Levi, if we pull up the Joker uh, 2 Rotten Tomatoes, you can pull up the first one for me, please. Okay. Um, Joker 2 recently came out to overwhelming, uh, overwhelmingly negative reviews. Um, we're looking at a 33% on the tomato meter, 32% on the popcorn meter. Um, star, it's Joker starring Harley Quinn, uh, starring Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn and, um, Joaquin Phoenix. No, what's his name? Joaquin Phoenix? Joaquin Phoenix. I was thinking of, uh, the fighter Joaquin Buckley. Fuck my head up. Joaquin Phoenix as, uh, Joker. Um, the movie has been called terrible, garbage, 
disappointing, uh, a step in the wrong direction. Um, this is kind of upsetting, especially since uh, the first one left such a big imprint on Word. the culture. You know For what I mean? Sure. Uh huh. And what were those numbers again? Uh, okay. thirty-three tomato, thirty-two uh -huh. popcorn. Damn. So it's like half of what the first one did. So the first one did a sixty-eight tomato. Sheesh. Okay. Eighty-nine popcorn. Okay. I think oh. I think uh, when I saw the first one, I think I'm more in the realm of an eight. I think I think I I was I'm comfortable giving the first one an eight. Mm -hmm. Um, second one still haven't seen it. I will be seeing it, especially since uh it is listed as a musical. And if anyone knows me, you know I fuck with musicals. Um, yeah, this guy won't shut so up about really. only only reason. You hear that, Rosario? <laughs> you see him? You see him trying to come between us? Uh, nah, nah. I'm putting you front and you center. See, I'm putting you front and Cena. Uh, I'm fucking. Uh, you fucking heard John Cena. You know he can beep, rap beep, his beep. whole like the whole intro, uh, the whole intro song. Um, I'm gonna give you a fun fact about me, Chris. In my youth, big fan of wrestling. Uh, I was I was there when John Cena came into the scene. Oh. Um and was battle rapping fans. Ah. Uh and it was at that moment I realized this wrestling shit might not be for me. <laughs> so thank you John Cena, you're the reason I no longer watch wrestling. Appreciate Damn. you, buddy. Damn. Appreciate you. Um Yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. Uh shout out to all the wrestling fans out there. I got nothing against you people. Ah, uh, you people sounds offensive. It sure does. Got nothing does. against you, against you sure guys. Sure fucking does. They got nothing against you guys. <laughs> you people. That's my That's fault. That's crazy. That's my fault. I'm about to make an apology video. <laughs> yes, for sure. Max, give me the ukulele. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> if he comes in there, I'm going gonna... <laughs> to... Oh man! Oh shit! That's funny as hell. Um, yeah. So shout out to DC. We're we're getting a Superman trailer pretty soon. Uh, Superman and Lois is on its final season. Yes. Um, Grant Gustin is still the best Barry Allen. Ezra Miller can go go, go fuck themselves. Oh, did I not send that here? Talk your shit. What it is? Um, hold on. Let me check Instagram real quick. But yeah, I'm I'm hoping that uh DC makes a turn. Um as someone who is a fan of DC, I fuck with uh I was about to say Green Goblin, uh Green Lantern, uh John Stewart specifically, which we're gonna get to him pretty soon. Um I fuck with uh my favorite superhero is the Flash. Uh Batman's iconic, Superman's a bitch. DC has great components to it. It's just how they decide to move those chess pieces, you feel me? You don't have to reply, Chris. That was just me talking to the audience so you could find what you was looking for. You see how I do that? I'm a great co-host, Chris. Oh, boy. I'm great. I does this. Oh, boy. Yeah, so I can't find it. But um, I remember seeing, I don't know if it was an article or, like, one of those picture things just somebody posted on threads or something. Elliot Page wants to. Elliot Page got it wants to be the new flash or that somebody or somebody wants elliot page to be the new pet new flash you think he got it here's my thing here's my thing my love for elliot page transcends everything love elliot page loved elliot page for a long time right super my shit juno top five greatest movies of all time you feel me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you feel me umbrella academy amazing mostly 
Um, I didn't finish. The last I just season. watched a movie with uh, with Elliot Page pre transition called Hard Candy. Do you know what that movie's about? No. I'm Elliot assume, Page. I'm assume Hard Candy. Elliot Page goes out as a teenager. Goes out to meet an older man. Right. The older man brings her home sexually. They don't do sex, but he he's under the impression that it's gonna get sexual. It doesn't. Please watch the movie, Chris. Please oh, watch it. He's it's telling so me to watch it. He's, Chris, he it's said, so please. fucking good. It's so fucking good. It's it's prime. It's prime. Elliot Page. What's it uh, on? Oh, what the fuck did I watch it on? I just watched it too. Um, why should I even call it Hard Candy either? It's 2005. Jesus Christ. It's on Tubi. Tubi. I didn't watch it on Tubi, though. <laughs> it's on uh, Prime. Am- I watched Amazon it on Prime. Prime. Yeah. Yeah. You try to call me poor. You guys saw that? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, uh, love Elliot Page. Do I see them? Uh, he, him? Is that their pronouns? Uh... Google in it. He, he they. He, he they. Okay. Oh, they them is also acceptable. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, um, isn't that what I can they see mean? them? I don't know, Chris. I don't know. You know what? Let's not talk about. This I don't know, bro. Let's, let's, uh, I'm trying to be respectful, bro. Yeah. Is, you feel me? Um, I can see them playing. I don't know. I think they might be too small. That's a problem. For the for the Flash, for the Flash, for Barry Allen, mm-hmm. um, I guess like physique wise could be a good young Wally West, but uh, Elliot Page doesn't look look like a teenager anymore. Elliot Page looks like an adult now. Yes, yes, he does. He's also five one. That's why I said as as a young Wally West would mm-hmm. be perfect. Okay, yeah, um. 37. He's 37. Yeah, that sounds about right. That checks out. Um, No, it's a no for me. And I, no? like I said, I, lo- I love Elliot Page. Okay. okay. I love I, Elliot Page. I it's just, a no for me. I, you brought him up. It, it sparked that thing. I just um, thought I'd bring it up. I also would have loved to see uh, see them come back in Deadpool versus Wolverine. Word? Um, Word? I would have I liked that. Uh, they could have they did something there. I don't know if there was any ever, any of any ever conversation about it but i would have loved to have them come back um speaking of elliot page uh we did recently get uh sort of recently get the umbrella academy uh yes. finale did you watch it i didn't finish it i watched like two episodes maybe three episodes Ooh, so you still got some left uh you, so we're not talking about it um i enjoyed the final season uh we'll ending was again. okay the full series to me I would definitely recommend you watch it. Oh, really? Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, the whole series is great. It uh, has yeah. its low moments, but what doesn't? You know what I mean? I'm on episode three. Okay. Um. Yeah. It was. It was. A, it was a good finale. It was a good finale. Okay. Yeah. Um. Where do you want to go from there, Chris? Uh, we still have DC to talk about. Yes, sir. Um, we have officially got uh our John Stewart cast in the Lanterns TV series. Uh, we will be having Aaron Pierre play John Stewart. Um, Aaron Aaron Pierre is known for roles such as uh Rebel Ridge, which Chris just told me to watch. Oh, Brother, that's it. Oh, he's gonna kill that role. Mufasa Lion King. Absolutely old. Uh, which is a terrible movie. Um, old? It's not it's terrible. Oh, it's all right. Old What's is it okay. About? It's not terrible. What's it about? Uh, people get trapped on the island, and it oh, rapidly yeah, yeah, yeah. ages them. Um, uh, the gays, Little Mermaid. Um, the, shout out to him. The gays, like G A Z E. Yes. <laughs> okay. Not G A Y S. I was about to say that's got to be controversial. No, unless it's made in, a, in an offensive manner. 
Not fair. Fair. Touche. Like, it feels like the gays. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I don't want to do the opposite of what you said because that would be inappropriate, correct? For sure. Okay. For sure. And I'm proud of you for not doing it, Chris. I'm proud of you for not doing it, bro. Just, um, just know the gears were turning. <laughs> the gears were turning. Thank God you recently got an oil change up there. Or else we would have we we been cooked. <laughs> the gears were turning. Uh, uh, tell us about, Rebel, tell us about Rebel Ridge, Chris. About uh, Rebel, Rebel Ridge, Ridge is great. All right. So if if. It reminds me of like the rundown or um one of those type of movies yeah. where uh where uh somebody obviously with a mil- military background is going to do something in a town that obviously you know they either have no business being in or they just got there you know on some uh What's it called? What's it called? Nomad shit, right? And then somebody does something to anger this person, all downhill for that person from there. The the villain, the antagonist. Yeah. Uh, Where, high action? Oh, there's some action. There is uh, some action. Score? Score my score definitely high eight. Okay, you guys heard it here first ish. Um, Chris gives it a high eight. Uh, I have not watched it yet. Chris did recommend I watch it a long time ago, but I kind of have this thing against Chris where he tells me to watch. Uh, he recommends me to watch things, but since he doesn't watch anything I ever recommend for him, that's not true. Um, I don't watch it. That's not true. Um. Uh. Ooh, uh, somebody else is in. In Rebel Ridge? Yeah. Um, Anna Sophia Robb? Maybe that could be who I'm thinking about. Um, I don't know who she is. She looked familiar, though. Supergirl? Why was Supergirl next to her? I don't know. Whatever. Um, I'm trying to see her face. It's yeah, but according, so according to Chris, a great movie. According to Chris, great movie. Um, yeah, especially for the people of color, they'll really like it. Shout out my people. How are people? Yeah. <laughs> what? You ain't claiming. I was just making sure. I was making sure you you knew what side you was on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can't be thanks. can't be too short sometimes. Um, we got a bunch of jumbled stuff, Chris. I don't know how you want to go about it. Okay. Okay. Um, I, you want to do you want to do anime now? Um, since we're on Netflix, let's bring up the Netflix shit I wanted to talk about. Anime okay. shit. Right. So Which we got was... Tomb Raider. Just Tomb came Raider, out. yes, yes. Just came out yesterday. Yeah. The um, 10th. They don't know when we're recording, Chris, so we could say we're, we're recording the 11th right now. It's the 11th. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't know what date it was. My fault. <laughs> yesterday, the 10th. Um... Yeah, uh, I watched maybe a couple of minutes of the episode. It looks great, though. Animated perfectly. It looks like it's going off the game story. Or, yeah. like, the the newer story of Laura Croft, the Tomb Raider. Um, yeah. As opposed to the older, like, pre-Angelina Jolie or Annalena Jolie-esque one. Can, so, can I name some of the cast? Sure, go ahead. I don't have uh, we got uh, Laura Croft is played by Minnie Driver. Um, we got Jonathan Lippo, or maybe Lipo, L I P O W. Um, Peter Johnson, Jamie Blanc, uh, Colette Whitaker, Barry Seymour, Roger Craig Smith. A lot of names I don't recognize. Um, 
And if you're doing something that's animated and you don't got my girl Shelby Young in it, I don't want to watch it. You feel me? Is she not in it? If you don't got my girl Tara Strong in it, I don't want to watch it. it. I'm just naming. I'm just naming, naming voice actors. I know at this point. Oh, oh, oh. If you don't got my dog Phil Lamar in it, I don't want to watch. Now nah, this looks cool though. I haven't. I haven't. I didn't even know this was happening. I think it was um overshadowed by me. Uh, for me by Terminator. Because the Terminator anime just came out as well. That came out a while ago. No, it was recent, wasn't it? Nah, it was a while ago. I'm going to go with it just came out. Um, so I guess I didn't, I just, you know. Um, I guess I just didn't pay attention to it. Oh, damn, August 29th. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, you enjoyed the 10 minutes of it that you saw. Are you going to go back to it? Oh, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Look, you can lie to yourself. Don't lie to the people. You going to go back to it or now? Yeah, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to finish it. I I I saw it. So, what I do every now and then, especially when I'm in between stuff to watch, like anime or like, you know, bullshit that I be watching, I look at what's coming out for Netflix and like all the other streaming services that I have. And all right, I'll, Mr. Moneybags. Ouch. Uh, uh, I add it to like my list or whatever. Yeah. And uh, I get the notification. And I'll end up watching. Got it. Um, got it. Got it. Which one call it? So far for Netflix. Uh, what did I add? So I added. Uh, Ah, fuck. Okay. So it only goes from... Damn. Okay. So when when you add something, it doesn't... Let, when you add something and it comes out, it removes it from that page because it's not new yeah. or coming out anymore. It's yeah. out. So uh, I added that, Laura Croft. Um... I saw that's where I found out that Don da Don is on Netflix. Great theme song. Great theme song. Uh, so I added those two to my list. The Platform Two just came out. Have you ever watched the Platform? No. It's like uh. I know. I know this. Yeah. A good ingredient start at the top, goes down each platform. Bottom gets what they get. Yeah, I think it the other way around. No, to it starts it starts at the top. It doesn't go down. It doesn't go up. No, I don't know. You're making me second guess myself. I thought it went up. Yeah, because the people at the top, it's 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 uh it's a metaphor for the people at the top. You know what I'm trying to say? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, well, I'm putting a trailer on. <laughs> that was added um recently um what you call it outer banks all right now i watched this this show mainly because i like seeing white people struggle and i'm listening know, they're struggling over like some gold like some real shit and they end yeah. up in barbados so the win 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 Fun fact, I'm from Barbados. I'm Asian. Allegedly. Ouch. Um, yeah, that just, that just got a season three. Did you know Cobra Kai is getting a season six? Cobra Kai season six is out already, no? Season seven. It's a season seven? Season six is out. I thought was, I thought it was a season six part two. No. Oh, season six part two. There we go. Boom. Okay. I knew I wasn't bugging. I saw a six. And, <laughs> and more and more importantly than all of that, Ali. Sorry, I punched my mic. Ali Wong has a new comedy special on Netflix, and it's just her staring at me, me staring at her. It's more of a a rom com than it is just a comedy. I love you, Ali Wong. 
I love you. Yes. Also, Bad Boys, Ride or Die, came to Netflix. Where so. Chris, my Ride or Die. On gang. Throw them gang signs up again. You were throwing up earlier. No. That's disrespectful. <laughs> My fault. My fault. So Netflix got some heat coming is what you're saying. Or Netflix got coming. some heat coming. Got it, got it, got it. For sure, for sure. Um, but if if none of that intrigues you, remember you could always watch a Halloween movie. What Halloween movie you ask? Well, if you wait one week. You'll have the answer to that. Check back you know, in. You know what's pissing me off, though? What? Stranger Things. Uh-huh. They don't, even oh, got the- a, <laughs> they don't even got a trailer out. Yeah, because they're trying to figure out how to age the story up as fast as the kids grew up. The kids is like 40 now. Are you kidding me? But my thing is, they're filming it. Or they filmed it. Did they? Yeah. I thought this girl was giving them trouble, so they didn't film it, film it yet. What's her name? She's married now. Congratulations to... Oh, my God. What's her name? Millie Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby Brown hyphen... Bon Jovi, maybe? Oh, that's right. He is a Bon Jovi. I'm all tangled up. Shout out to Rapunzel. Um... Yeah, uh, I kind of I lost my I lost faith in Stranger Things. Unfortunately, um, unfortunately, uh, I mean, speaking of Stranger Things, we are getting rumors that uh, Sadie Sink, um, who plays Max in Stranger Things, uh, is in discussions to join the cast of Spider Man Four as Spider Woman, which makes you wonder, wow, what happened to all the Spider Women from? Madam, Madam Web. Web. Yes, what happened to them? Get them out of here. Please let us know. Get them out of here. Oh, no. Let me not say that because I did enjoy uh, most of the spider lasses. They weren't the bad part of the movie. No. Let me say that. They were costume great. Yes, I, I do like the costumes for, for the three seconds we saw them. Um, yeah, yeah, and that's what really fucking pissed me off because the know? trailers marketed as they was gonna be scrapping. Right, I'm not bugging. Yep, yep. No, you're not bugging. You not bugging. Nigga, the most the action we got in that movie was this bitch doing CPR. You're not bugging so much that I'm pretty sure somebody sued. Because it was false advertising. Good. Hold that. I hope they lost, too. And lost all their money. Not that they made any. Terrible fucking movie. Um, I wonder if one year, maybe maybe halfway through this, uh, this decade, so this year coming up. Right? We're in 2024 now, right? Yes. So this year coming up, maybe we could do like a... Uh, compare the first five years of this decade and see how badly Hollywood has lost money as opposed to how much the money it's made. That sounds yeah. like a lot of research and a lot of work, but I- I'd be down to start working on it and do it as like a June, July drop. That'd be kind of cool. Word. Um, but yeah, let, let's, 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 let's shift our, shift our uh, focus, Chris. We don't got to talk about this superhero stuff no more, because superheroes are for the lanes. What I care about is strong, powerful aliens. Dragon Ball Spark Zero just came out today. Um, yes. For 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 the plebeians. Uh, I want plebeian. you. What is a plebeian? That's Why what we're we... going with now. You was going for like the, the poor people, right? What was the word? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Peasants. Peasants, there we go. Yeah. What um, is a plebeian? I gotta look it up. Now. Google it. Google it. It's gonna kill you. Um Yes, it came out this week then. Let's say it came out this week. Uh I just wanna say whoever designed um Gorilla Vegeta. Vegeta Gorilla. One of the Muffin. common people. <laughs> common people. Oh, you're right then. I think uh, common people do common people common people have more money than peasants? Uh, I think that'll, that'll really determine it. 
Yeah, so common would be like the uh, middle class, and then the peasants. Oh yeah, so yeah, the peasants, peasants will is be lower. Like the got it, got it, got it, got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to us, we peasants. Um. <laughs> uh. So we got Dragon Ball Super. Uh, Dragon Ball Spark of Zero came out. Um. So far, beautiful game. Uh, loved gameplay. Fuck you, Vegeta, especially in your monkey form. You monkey bitch. Um, okay, no racial, Frieza. no racial, no racial. Oh, okay, Frieza. No racial. I said no okay, racial. Okay, Frieza. Um, <laughs> but alongside the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero game, we also got the first episode for the new anime Dragon Ball Daima. 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 Yeah. Um, which I watched. Um. Thoughts, comments, concerns, ranking. First half, first half is a really cool recap of like Majin, Majin Vegeta up to uh, the boos, oh. all the way up to Kid Boo. Um, Ooh, all the boos. And okay. it's, it's 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 like it's like the person recapping it is us watching it. Ah. You know I mean? So they're watching it like on the seat, something like that. Um, it was boo loving. Got it. Thank you. Thank that you. was a good one. <laughs> um, and then, you know, uh, maybe halfway through, we start getting progression to the new plot. Um, I thought it was cool. I thought it was really cool. Animation was beautiful. Early in the show, we get a, 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 a Goku and Vegeta sparring match. Um, nice. So, uh, I enjoyed it. I I enjoyed the, uh, the first episode. I haven't watched a Dragon Ball anything in a long time um also i think the last dragon ball i watched was uh the last broly movie yeah yeah that's what i was gonna say that sounds about right right yeah yeah so i haven't i've been out of the dragon ball loop for a minute and i've i've watched a couple of the fights from super oh yeah i did that too yeah but like as a full thing it was yeah. definitely that movie um i still want to watch superhero um Score first episode, I'll give it a solid eight. Superhero. Yeah, isn't that the name of the last movie? Isn't it called like Dragon Ball Superhero? No? Yeah. I'm making that know. up. Guys, I'm watching Dragon Ball My Hero. That's crazy. Yeah, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Oh. Huh. Came out two years ago. Is it about Krill? Uh I was about to say Krillin. Uh, Gohan? He's all out of me. I ain't watch it. <laughs> Great Saiyan Man? The Goat? Also, the... The... The, uh... Desecration of Gohan? Um... And with me bringing in this anime news, I believe I will hand it off to my favorite weeb. Uh, uh... uh my favorite wonderful weeb. Um... The otaku... Who drinks a lot of Paku Paki? That's a that's a little cracker thing. Yeah, it's a chocolate covered breadstick. The senpai who likes to get high. I'll take that one. Let's I'll go. Take that one. <laughs> okay, I'll take that one. <laughs> he almost didn't like it at first. Nah, nah, nah. But you know, it's got a certain ring to it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. What the fuck am I looking at? Okay. So, as you already know, we've got some stuff that came out already for the fall. Which started in September. Uh, we got Loner Life in Another World, right? Uh, Demon Lord Retry that came out in se September, also. Uh, another Isekai reincarnated as an aristocrat or as a reincarnated aristocrat. I'm just mm -hmm. cutting it right there. Got a season two. Um, That's the name of the fucking show. Can I say the whole name? Go ahead. As a reincarnated aristocrat, 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 I'll use my appraisal skill to rise in the world. Season two. 
Uh, yes. Aristocrat is always such a hard word for me to say because I, I was a big fan of the show, uh, the movie Aristocats. Uh, so it's always so difficult for me to say that word. But continue. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, then Uzumaki just came out, if I'm not mistaken. This has it wrong, though. I could have sworn it came out like October 1st. I don't think it matters. Uh, it does to me. Um, oh, oh. all right, we're gonna get through this bullshit. Uh, Re Zero, <sighs> a great anime. Fucking, should I recommend it to my dog? I think I might watch Re Zero. Crazy. As your dog is the audience, is your or is your dog me? Okay. Um. Yes, you should definitely watch it. Uh, how can I put this? Let me break down real quick. So basically, this guy obviously it's a reincarnated. It's reincarnated. Well, not reincarnate. No, not reincarnated. Because that means you die and you come back as somebody else. No, this guy got teleported. Oh, semantics. Okay, okay, okay. Teleported. <laughs> into a new world got it got it All right now he has one power and one power only. every it's groundhog day sick okay right that's the power i'm calling it. that's 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 the name of the power that's that's, that's the name quirk. i'm giving it yeah groundhog day this man every time he dies he goes back to a certain fixed point that progresses with the TV show. So, like, <clears throat> he'll die. Like, it just shows, goes to show you, like, there's so much shit that could kill you in this world. And so many bad decisions that can go left so quickly. It's really good. You should watch it. Okay. I'll get, I'll, I'll think about it. Yes, that was my spoiler-free um, summarization. Spoiler-free semantic-filled <laughs> spoiler uh, uh, summarization. Got it. Yeah, I know. I'm not. I know you're not. You're not. You're not for all this reincarnated bullshit. Because you know everybody getting reincarnated these days. You know, they got a, a a nigga wanted to try. You know what I'm saying? I felt, oh. That sounds like a. <laughs> that sounds like a fucking. Uh, it was. It was. It was. Okay. It was. We're not okay. gonna. We're not gonna go into it anymore. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this shit is wrong. This guy, bro, just get to get to get to the damn. Get, uh, get okay. To the fucking list. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another one that came out recently. Uh, is it wrong to try to pick up girls in the dungeon, season five? Oh my god. Yep, yep, yep. Roni Kenshin. All right. Bro, you know what's crazy? Bleach what? is on their list and you're naming that bullshit? Bleach yeah, I, is on here. Yeah, Ichigo. Yeah. I didn't get to Bleach yet. All oh, right. My fault. My fault. So, spoiler alert. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Also, um, kudos to me for getting Ichigo right. Yes. Kudos. Kudos. Now, is he the main character? No. Yes. Damn it. <laughs> he tricked me. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, I can't pronounce any of those words. Uh, so, like my dog said, Bleach is coming out. Thousand Year Blood War, The Conflict. All right, we got that coming out. Blue Exorcist, Beyond the Snow Saga. Can't wait for that. Uh, Blue Lock. Now I know y'all niggas love Blue Lock. That shit go crazy. Apparently, a lot of people are fucking with it. John, my brother included. Stop. Stop. You wearing the blue too? Oh my god, I'm wearing the blue too. <laughs> my fault. My fault. Big blue over here though. You know what I mean? Big blue. Big blue. Um. Let me put a game on real quick. 
Oh boy, let's go, let's go. Okay, seven deadly sins for whoever's still watching that. That's coming out. Oh man, that's hilarious. I just realized all the controllers on my desk are blue. I'm gonna I'm do it, why not? <laughs> no, <shit. laughs> um one i'm excited for all right we're skipping a whole bunch of stuff right now uh yeah take it yeah could do that one and then tell us what's coming out uh this weekend and then you know finish it off there uh this <laughs> this weekend we got demon lord 2099 lit right that's, that's got... chris's tinder name I fucking hate you. <laughs> uh, Shangri La Frontier Season Two, great anime. That's on that your sounds list. fire. It's on your list. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, send me my <laughs> list again. I forgot what's on there. This one's definitely not. Uh, Afrueta from Commonplace to World Strongest Season Three. That is not, not on, on your my list. list. I could tell by that little thumbnail. It's not gonna be on my list. Yeah, 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 this is so. Remember, I told you there's an anime mm -hmm. where this guy conjured a large metal spike and shoved it up a dragon's asshole. Okay, what's coming out October nineteenth? <laughs> this is that, that anime. This is plug, that anime. But plug the anime is the fourteenth. <laughs> October nineteenth yeah. uh, is another one that we'll really like. Blue me, bro. Mibiro. Mibiro. Yep. Uh, and Murder Mysteries of the Dead. Boom. Uh, and also on November 4th, uh, the greatest day on Earth, Eve, we got uh, Futures Folk Tales 2. Um, great looking art style. Also, if you watch it, you directly uh, celebrate my birthday with me. So I would really appreciate that. I hope it also comes if you guys want to send uh, donations to a bad bitch for his birthday, uh, my cash app is money sign. Should have thought of a joke before I started this bit. No space, no capitals, no numbers, just letters. Nice. One day I'll be prepared. Nice. So that's One day. all. That's all the anime I could think of that's coming out. Yeah, we don't got much more left, Chris. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say Chris don't care about this, but Goosebumps, uh, the new show Goosebumps has a season two, uh, title and release date, which are called. Uh, the fa uh, the vanishing. We're getting it January 10th, 2025. All eight episodes. The new season season dropping at once. Um, um, and David Schwimmer starring in it. Schwimmer, why does that sound familiar? Ross, I mean, yeah, Ross. Oh, really? Yeah. And that's now that crazy. I'm now that I'm looking at this picture, that's Ross. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Um, yeah. Uh, their first season was really cool. I enjoyed it. Solid seven. Uh, I enjoyed it. If you guys don't like dummies, I wouldn't watch it. Um, but if you don't mind dummies, I'd watch it. Also, Chris just did a bunch of anime stuff, and he forgot to mention that My Hero Academia will air its final season next year. Um, didn't, I, didn't I say that earlier? Maybe. I don't remember. If <laughs> if you did, they got it twice. Mm. Yes. They got it twice. Final season 2025. Also, there's something I forgot to say. I just remembered when you uh, brought up something. I don't remember. Um, Devil May Cry. Oh, yeah. Has an animated series coming out on Netflix. Yes. Yes. That is what um, I was talking about earlier when I said you'll be excited for this one. Before we hate, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Chris. You knew, didn't you? Yes. You want to know how I knew? No, I'll give you. I, I'll give you. I'll give you a hint. You told you? me. Yes. Did I? <laughs> yes. 
and I was surprised when you initially told me. If it makes ah. you feel better. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Oh. That's fucking I'm hilarious. I'm too good at my job, is what you're saying. Great. Love it. Peace. Um, Devil May Cry anime coming out. Uh, cool. Very excited for it. But please, somebody, anybody, give me a Devil May Cry 1 through 3 uh, remastered. Give it the, the um, Resident Evil treatment. Please. Poor favor. Oh, the so you game. want? Yeah, I want. I want it all. You want remastered, restorified. Well, that, well, not re- storified, yeah. but like zhuzhed up. Zhuzhed up for sure. I don't want a fresh coat of paint and the dealer slaps it on top, right? You know what I mean. I want. I want fresh off the assembly roof. line. Got you. Got you. Fresh off the assembly line. Um, love Devil May Cry. One of my favorite games of all time. Can't get past uh, that first motherfucker, bro. He was getting ass whooped. You know what's so crazy? This is how I know my my skill in video games has diminished. Yes. Um, I beat Devil May Cry Four on the hardest difficulty, and if anyone who knows how hard that is, you know how hard that is. Mm-hmm. And I just struggled for an hour and a half with a fucking gorilla. Oh, fun fact! So according to John, my brother. Who also loves the Dragon Ball Z. Shout, out to, shout out to uh, shout out to John. Um, he's telling me that we're not the only people that are having an issue with this big ass. Which is ape. why, which is why I don't feel bad about it. Which is why I don't feel bad about it either. Okay, but I still feel bad about it. <laughs> it's gotten so bad. Don't do that. that. <laughs> I, I did this. You hit it with one of these. I had if it not, one of if these. not o- only this was showing on my Look. screen. It was like it was. I don't know <laughs> yeah. if it's like the same one. Here. I got you. Like I that. got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Um, it gotten so bad. There's memes about it. Uh, he sent he sent us one or two. Shout out funny. to John. Shout out to John. Love that man. Um, yes. So that was that. I forgot what we were even talking about to get to that point. I was just getting so heated sometimes. To be happy about life, Freaky Friday sequel, um, appropriately titled Freakier Friday, which sounds like a porn parody, uh, gets an official release date of August 8th, 2025. Uh, I said this in a previous video I made. Uh, the song in Freaky Friday that Lindsay Lohan plays with her band is a fucking certified hood banger. And if you don't agree, you can go... Frick yourself. It's a bop. What's the song? I'd sing it right now, but I ain't warm my vocals up. Ah. Oh, yeah. so you know the song. Like, yes, you got, I, you I got love bars it. in it. The song is fire. This guy got bars um, in his head. Let me see I didn't, I get the I didn't. name of it. Well, Freaky Friday was my jam back in the day. And mine too. Um, of course, the first song that pops up was Lil Dicky Freaky Friday. Uh, it's called Take Me Away. Um, I'm surprised you didn't want to talk about Don Danon. I didn't say I didn't want to talk about it. Well, we're talking about Don Danon now. Okay. Um, are you, well, can I finish my part first? Absolutely. Absolutely. Are you, are, are you it just, excited? It for just popped free- in my head and, and I had to say it. Are you excited for freakier Friday? I am. Hopefully, um, no, that was a scary movie that had nothing to do with Freaky Friday. Freaky. Yes. That movie was fire. Yes. Fire and fun. Like that movie. Vince Vaughn, back at it again. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it I, it was gonna be a third sequel, the second sequel, second sequel. Yeah, I thought Freaky was. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, but I'm glad I was wrong, and I found out my conclusion by um. Deducing oh. it, yes, got you. Deduction. Spe- speaking of wow, speaking of deducing, 
<laughs> the new anime series, the the Don the Don Don. The Don the Don. The Don 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 the Don. Mm-hmm. Okay, the new anime Don the Don. Um, I watched the first episode. Yes. How do you feel about it? Rate it one through five. Can I exclude the bullshit and then rate it? Exclude the bullshit. Rate that. If I'm excluding the bullshit, I think it was a solid four. I fuck with the animation style. What? Mm-hmm. You said one through five, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I fuck with the animation style. I liked where the story was going before gotcha. that shit. Um, the main character seems pretty funny. She kind of reminds me of, uh, like, what's her name for now? The anime. I'll think of it eventually. Um, now the anime. Um, he doesn't watch many, so I should be able I don't. to get it's this. It's a solid seven of them you can get. You can get <laughs> um, yeah, it's cool. Intro alone is is five is five. Outro yeah. alone five. Um, it's a cool show. It's a cool show. Uh, if I if I get the rest of the series with no more of that fan service bullshit, okay, I will be completely happy with the series. I won't ever watch the first episode again, but I'll be okay. happy with the series. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I meant to ask uh you guys this earlier. Now, if it was the same scene, like everything the same, right? But she had she was fully closed in that chair scene. Would it have been okay? No, no. It would have been less weird, but still weird. Less weird, but still weird. It would have okay. been. It would have been. It would have been the threat of that word. Gotcha. While she had clothes on, rather than the threat of that word with her. Gotcha, naked. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That'd be the only difference. It'd still be just. It'd, it'd be weird. It'd be instead of like. 100% so instead, weird, it'd be ninety nine point nine. So instead, so it would have to be. Okay, so it would have to have her with clothes on, and instead of her having that happen to her, um, dissection maybe. That is the word Mark was thinking of, but uh, uh, any other way to convey her being in danger, even in her, danger. Or, even her just being locked up with the aliens around her, that's enough to convey the situations in, in general. Gotcha, gotcha. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just think that if we are, if we're taking swastikas out of one piece we can remove rape scenes from other animes that's where i stand on it okay and it's not just one piece they took a swastika out of it. yeah no i was just going that's that's okay yeah, you yeah. know red is to blue like me is too you feel, you feel what i'm saying yeah they did in naruto too. yeah i remember i remember um, um they did it in like kanye the anime too anyway um speaking of animes Right, since we're, mm-hmm. back on, since we're back on anime somehow. Uh, the greatest anime inspired cartoon of all time. Fuck what your opinion is, is the fact. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender is getting a big budget RPG, it's getting the triple A treatment. We're getting an official non game mill Avatar The Last Airbender game. It's an RPG, you will create your own bender. I am excited for this game. We we've, we've been saying for how long that we need an Avatar: Last Airbender RPG. For Bossing, how long? It's gonna be Bossing says Gate. Since I want to play with you today, I'm gonna I'm gonna okay that one. But if I were going to sleep right after this, I would have told you to suck a dick. I want you to know that. <laughs> I want you to know that. Um. Uh. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, uh, bossing's bossing says gay. That's hard. To, how'd you even say that? I don't know. That was crazy. I I, matter of fact, I take it back. That was ten out of ten. <laughs> you got that off? That's fire. Ouch! That's fire. Ouch! That's fire. My fault. So yeah, they announced it on uh, braving the elements. Um, with oh my god, 
Janet Janet Varney Varney. uh, and Dante Dante Vasco. I forgot who it was they had on to announce it. But it's someone from Avatar Studios, I want to assume. Let me go on her Instagram real quick. Mm. Hold on. Uh, Janet. Varney. Hold, hold, hold. Um... I used to listen to this. Also. Hey, mate. I don't know who. They don't say his name on here. Oh, wait, wait. He's tagged? No, he's not tagged. Oh, my God. Maybe in the comments? Um, Someone commented, is this real? Bitch, it's on Janet Varney's Instagram. She's Cora. She's Cora. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who it was they announced it with. Um, damn. Anyway, yeah, we're getting the game. Um, excited. Please don't make it like that Legend of Korra game that was terrible and like the last Avatar game that was absolutely horrible. Please, as a service to the fans, to us, for almost 20 years. Googling when Avatar Last Airbender came out. Hold on. Uh, question: Is this episode? No, that's two twenty. Two thousand five. We're going on twenty years for twenty years. Bong, 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 bong. bong. You feel me? Yeah, um, recipes yeah, to yeah. Mako. Um, one of the greatest cartoons of our generation, of any generation. Uh, just, just do it, do it, do it, do it justice. Um, do, do it, justice. it justice. It's the most recent episode. I don't know actually. I saw it on Instagram. Um Oh, the it's called Avatar Video Games and What's Coming Next. I love Jen Vardy. I love Dante Bosco. Gaming the Avatar verse. Damn. It doesn't show the guest. Go on um Oh, his name is He's the head of Global Games and Emerging Media for Paramount. Doug Rosen. Doug Rosen, Senior uh, Vice President Games and Emerging Media at whatever I I just said before. And he was also at Nickelodeon back in the day. Um, Well, well, Paramount, like, absorbed Nickelodeon, didn't it? Yes. Because I know a lot of uh, uh, Spongebob's on Paramount+. Plus. Oh, then, yeah, yeah, Paramount did... uh, yeah, uh, yeah, because I Carly went on there, right? Yes, 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 yes. Um, also, speaking of SpongeBob, to end, uh, are we ending after this? I got one more after it. We, we can, we can, we can, uh, uh, end the Eve with this. Okay, so we got, um, Wendy's doing a collab with SpongeBob right now, right? Uh, uh, so basically, one of the creators of SpongeBob. Want, never wanted um, his show to sell food IRL. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, in the show, it was ironic the fact that it, it was supposed to be conveyed, conveyed as ironic that he was selling food. Right? He never wanted SpongeBob or his characters to be selling actual food at a fast food place. And so this is one of the things that um was said or that was done after cuz apparently he passed and this is something that he that was done without his knowledge obviously. Got it. So they got the bag. Got it. They got they got the bag. Hey, fuck y'all over at SpongeBob SquarePants. How about that? Word, word, word. Uh, I wouldn't be so aggressive because this is just something I heard. Uh, you don't, I don't, you know. don't know how true it is. I don't know how true it is. No. Hey, possibly fuck y'all over at SpongeBob. There we Better? go. There we go. Allegedly, right, let... fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. <laughs> All right, let me get this out because Chris's camera is losing focus. The ADHD is kicking in. Um, so uh, uh, quite a while ago we got um an announcement of a new Timothy Chalamet and Gwyneth Paltrow movie. Uh, titled Morty Supreme, or is that an A? Looks like it, if it's an A, it's Marty Supreme. If it's, if it's an O, it's a Morty Supreme. 
can't really tell with this article. Um, but we got uh, the announcement that a uh, one of our favorite rappers, one of our favorite musicians, is going to be joining the cast um, in his first film role, um, Mr. Tyler, the creator, uh, joining um, on board this A24 project. Um, A24? And I, I think that's enough to get me on board with the Timothy Chalamet and Gwyneth Paltrow movie. Any other circumstance, I'm not watching this shit. But we got Tyler, and it's A24. I'm going to check it out. Shout out to Tyler. Um, yeah, man. So we just don't like Gwyneth Paltrow and Timothy? Don't care for Gwyneth Paltrow, no. Uh, and Timothy Chalamet, too. Not to guess, I'm just not my cup of tea. Okay. I mean, to each their own, obviously. Yeah, yeah c- c- uh, congratulations to them and all the success they had and are having. Um, word, word, word. Yeah. For sure. Going to the Paltrow, uh, I'm not buying your vagina candle. No, thank you. That's Gwyneth Paltrow, right? It is Gwyneth Paltrow, because she's Pepper Potts, yes. You know what that candle smells like, right? End the episode. End the episode. Please. End the episode, because I'm, I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to get in trouble. Uh, somebody end this episode right now, please. <laughs> That's your job. <laughs> somebody, please. <laughs> Sir, please. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop a new video, react, whatever we got. Just hit the bell so you're notified. All right? We'll tell you every time. By we, YouTube will tell you every time. Thank you guys for watching. Mm. And we'll catch you on the next one. First Am try. Yeah. Ouch.